Sutra Good Knowing Advisors. Now that you have taken refuge with the Triple Jewel, you should listen carefully while I explain to you the three bodies of a single substance, the self-nature of the Buddha, so that you may see the three bodies and become completely enlightened to your own self-nature. Repeat after me. I take refuge with a clear, pure Dharma body of the Buddha within my own body. I take refuge with the hundred thousand myriad transformation bodies of the Buddha within my own body. I take refuge with the complete and full reward body of the Buddha within my own body. Good knowing advisors, the form body is an in. It cannot be returned to. The three bodies of the Buddha exist within the self-nature of worldly people, but because they are confused, they do not see the nature within them, and so seek the three bodies of the Tathagata outside themselves. They do not see that the three bodies of the Buddha are within their own bodies. Listen to what I say, for it can cause you to see the three bodies of your own self-nature within your own body. The three bodies of the Buddha arise from your own self-nature and are not obtained from outside. What is the clear, pure Dharma body Buddha? The worldly person's nature is basically clear and pure, and the 10,000 dramas are produced from it. The thought of evil produces evil actions, and the thought of good produces good actions. Thus, all dharmas exist within the self-nature. This is like the sky which is always clear, and the sun and moon which are always bright, so that if they are obscured by floating clouds, it is bright above the clouds and dark below them. But if the wind suddenly blows and scatters the clouds, there is brightness above and below, and the myriad forms appear. The worldly person's nature constantly drips like those clouds in the sky. Good knowing advisors, intelligence is like the sun and wisdom is like the moon. Intelligence and wisdom are constantly bright, but if you are attached to external states, the floating clouds of, of false thought cover the self-nature so that it cannot shine. If you meet a good knowing advisor, if you listen to the true and right drama and cast out your own confusion and falseness, then inside and out there, are, there will be penetrating brightness and within the self-nature all the 10,000 dramas will appear. That is how it is with those who see their own nature. It is called the clear, pure Dharma body of the Buddha. Commentary your physical body is like a house. You must not take refuge in it, but rather take refuge with your own self-nature. Everyone has the three Buddha bodies within themselves, but because of their delusion, they don't know it. Break through the clouds of illusion. It is just because you have not broken through them that you are deluded and have no wisdom. But if you do away with the troubles and ignorance, and listen to a clear-eyed advisor's explanation of the orthodox teaching. Your own nature will reflect all the dharmas like a luminous crystal. Those who see their nature and know their original mind are like a clear sky. The heart calm, all worries go away. The mind still, heaven has no clouds. When the heart is upset, there is chaos. But when your mind is calm and resolved, everything is auspicious. Auspicious, The pure heart like the moon in water, the quiet mind like a cloudy sky. True wealth, the mind stopped, thought cut off, true field of blessing, all passions put to an end. You must end your delusion and greed, greed, steal the mind and cut off, thought. That is true wealth. Truly wealthy people are not greedy. Those who are greedy are thereby poor. They may have a little money, but they are never satisfied. The passions are just selfish desires, and without them you are a true field of merit. 
Sutra Good Knowing advises when your mind takes refuge with your self nature, it takes refuge with the true Buddha. To take refuge is to rid your self nature of the egotism and unwholesome thoughts, as well as of jealousy, obsequiousness, deceitfulness, contempt, pride, conceit, and judgment views, and all other unwholesome tendencies whenever they arise. To take refuge is to be always aware of your own transgressions and never to speak of other people's good or bad traits. Always to be humble and polite is to have penetrated to the self-nature without any obstacle that is taking refuge. Commentary, if you turn the light around and reverse the illumination, you take refuge with the true Buddha. Be careful not to envy others. Would you like to know why you are so deluded? It is because in past lives, life after life, you invite, invite others. You invite their intelligence and so now you are stupid. You envy their talent and so now you have none. You are jealous that now you are inferior. You should not be devious and indirect. Get rid of egotism. I, I, me, myself, everything revolves around me. You should not be deceitful, full of self-importance and contemptuous of others. So have different views is to misjudge every situation you encounter and then go off in the wrong direction. Devon views are easy to come by. If you wish to take refuge, see your own phones and quit talking about other people. Criticism is yin and praise is yang. You should find the middle way. Sutra, what is the perfect full reward body of the Buddha? Just as one lamp can disperse the darkness of a thousand years, one thought of wisdom can destroy ten thousand years of delusion. Do not think of the past. It is gone and can never be recovered. Instead, think always of the future and in every thought, perfect and clear, see your original nature. All the good and evil differ. The original nature is non-dual. That non-dual nature is the real nature. Undefined by either good or evil, it is the perfect full reward body of the Buddha. One evil thought arising from the self-nature destroys 10,000 ants worth of good karma. One good thought arising from the self-nature ends evils as numerous as the sand grains in the Ganges River. To reach the unsurpassed body directly, see it for yourself in every thought and do not lose the original thought that is the reward body of the Buddha. Commentary When you bring forth wisdom, not just 10,000 years, but 10,000 ends of delusion are wiped away. Do not regret the past or be anxious about the future. What am I going to do next? You ask. If you plant good causes, you will reap good results. If you plant bad causes, you will reap bad results. So, do good things and good things happen and good things will happen, do bad and bad things will happen. Your thoughts should be proper, perfectly lucid, and full of light, not driven, selfish, and self-seeking, obstructive, or jealous. If you are not afraid that others will be better than you, it may be that you are a little better than they are, but if you fear that they will surpass you, then they are all better than you. The good and evil natures within the self-nature differ, but the self-nature is not dual. The non-dual such in self-nature is the real nature. Yung Cha wrote in his Song of Enlightenment, Ignorance and the real nature are just the Buddha nature. The illusory empty body is just the Dharma body. In the original real nature, there is no good or evil. It is entirely perfect and wonderful in itself, far-reaching in its penetration and broad in understanding. 
and vicious thoughts such as Bodhirushi's desire to poison Bodhidharma destroys 10,000 ends of good karma, whereas one good thought melts away evil karma as immense as the number of sand grains in the Ganges. One good thought can cause the realization of Buddhahood, and one bad thought is cause enough for going to hell. If you would like to know whether you are going to become a Buddha or go to hell, take a look at what kind of thoughts you have. To arrive at Buddhahood directly, see it for yourself in every thought. Understand your own mind and see your own original nature. Do not lose the original thought, the true thought, the true nature. Sutra, what are the hundred thousand Myra transformation bodies of the Buddha? If you are free of any thought of the 10,000 dramas, then your nature is basically like emptiness, but in one thought of calculation, transformation occurs. Evil thoughts are transformed into hell beings and good thoughts into heavenly beings. Viciousness is transformed into dragons and snakes and compassion into bodhisattvas. Wisdom is transformed into the upper realms and delusion into the lower realms. The transformations of the self-nature are extremely many and yet the confused person, unawakened to that truth, continually gives rise to evil and walks evil paths. Turn a single thought back to goodness and wisdom is produced. That is the transformation body of the Buddha within the self-nature. Commentary, having discussed the perfect full reward body, which lacks nothing and has nothing in excess, which obtains nothing and loses nothing, and is neither defined nor immaculate, increasing nor decreasing, male nor female, good nor evil, but which is perfect body that returns to non-attainment, the sixth Vajrayak asks, what are the hundred thousand Maya transformation bodies? I have one body, you say. How can we have a hundred thousand myriad bodies? What do the Buddha's transform transformation bodies have to do with me? These transformation bodies are simply a hundred thousand myriad thoughts and calculations. Shakyamuni Buddha can transform himself to appear in any one of the ten Dharma realms. That is, he can become a Buddha, a Bodhisattva, a Pratika Buddha, an Ahat, a God, Asura, human, helping, hungry ghost, or animal. You might also say that you and I have a hundred thousand myriad transformation bodies. I have taken a hundred thousand myriad disciples, and all of them imitate their teacher in consideration. They see their teacher eating only one meal a day before noon and say, I'm going to do that too. I tell them, I never stick out my hand and back. I don't depend on external situations and neither should you. If no one makes offerings to me and I die, that's just fine. Those who live the whole life under me must follow my three conditions as I do. Freezing, I don't beg. Starving, I don't scheme. And dying of poverty, I ask for nothing. The disciples say, all right, even if we starve to death, we won't beg or scheme. Because they copy me, they are my transformation bodies. In the future, you will have a transformation bodies too. If you have a good way of doing things, you will have a hundred thousand myriad good transformation bodies. If you have uh, an evil, ghostly way, you will have that many ghostly transformation bodies. If you are free of any thought of the 10,000 dramas, then your nature is basically like emptiness. One thought not produced, the entire substance manifests. If you do not give rise to a single thought, your original Buddha nature appears. But aren't you producing a thought? Are you without false thinking? Are you not thinking, what will I eat tomorrow? What time will I get to bed to tonight? 
Oh, I'm thirsty. I think I have a cup of tea. Without false thinking, you are a Buddha. But if you can't cut off your false thinking, you must not claim to be a Buddha. You must cultivate the way. If you haven't cultivated and say, "Hey, I'm a Buddha. You are just a dog of a Buddha." You can't simply say that everyone is Buddha. You have to cultivate and realize Buddhahood. We found cultivation. People are people. Animals are animals, and dogs are dogs. But do not be offended. Dogs also have the Buddha nature. They have to cultivate. That's all. Six rules suddenly move a covering of clouds. When you see something and think it beautiful. Or hear something and think, music. You are being influenced by externals. Using the six sense organs, the six sense objects, and the six consciousnesses, in this way, you cover yourself with clouds.